Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to the Walt Disney World Swan. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at the Walt Disney World Swan, where whimsy meets entertainment architecture. The Walt Disney World Swan is a resort hotel located on Crescent Lake between Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios, behind Disney's Boardwalk Resort and across from its sister resort, the Walt Disney World Dolphin. The Swan's main building is a 12-story rectangular structure with a gently arching top and two seven-story wings. On the swan side, the main structure is crowned with two 47-foot tall swan statues. The swan and dolphin share similar elements, but each has a distinctive appearance. The Walt Disney World Swan has the Disney shuttle bus near the main entrance. There's the swan meeting place, the water taxi, the playground, and also the lap pool. Let's take a look over to our left hand side. And here's the Swan meeting space. And on the opposite side is the Disney shuttle bus stop. Disney shuttle bus service is provided to the Magic Kingdom, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, and transfers to the Disney water parks. Now let's head to the main entrance of the lobby. Here's the portico with its large vaulted ceilings, but let's continue straight up ahead. Here we are at the Walt Disney World Swan. We're coming through this fun little revolving door into the lobby. And we're immediately greeted by a series of oversized chandeliers. Off to the right hand side is the reception area, along with the bell services desk. And here's the front desk for check-in. Now let's head across the way. And here's the Disney Planning Center and gifts. Let's go inside and take a look at what they have to offer. Let's take a look at this neat 2021 photo frame. Let's see how much it is. And it's $24.99. They also have this cool Mickey Mouse shirt. Let's see how much that is. And it's $29.99. There's also this neat Minnie Mouse shirt with a bow on it. Let's see how much this one is. And it's $39.99. Let's take another look at the gift shop before we go out the exit. Let's go out these doors here and we'll make a left and head just around the corner here. Up ahead is a quadruple swan fountain here in the atrium. If we were to continue walking straight ahead, it'd take us to the Walt Disney World Dolphin, the restaurants, and the Disney Water Taxi. Before we go there, let's head over to our right hand side and go see the East Elevators. Behind me is the reception area, and up ahead is the concierge desk. Here's a little information center. There's even a valet cashier here, near the elevators. And here's a sitting area to wait for your family and friends while they check in. And look at this, here's some clone troopers, so you could take your photo with them. Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, Disney's Hollywood Studios. Just over to the left hand side, are the East Elevators and the 12th Floor Ambassador Room. Here's an ATM if you're running low on cash. And located on the left and right hand sides are the East Elevators. Now it's time to head over to the West Side Elevators. Here's that Swan Fountain again. And off in the distance are the West Elevators. Let's go there. And here's Java, coffee, eats, sweets. They offer breakfast, sandwiches, and salads. Let's go inside and take a look. Java also offers quick grab and go items. And here's a look at the menu items. Java serves breakfast. They also offer various coffees, including regular coffee, hot tea, chai tea latte, hot chocolate, and cappuccino cafe latte. Just outside Java, you can rest and relax while enjoying your coffee. And over here, you can get some work done at the workstation. The Swan also has a business center. Here's a quick look at the workstations and the photocopier. And on the back side are printers, 
and shipping envelopes. West elevators and second floor meeting room over to the right hand side and meeting rooms and ballrooms to the left hand side. Down this hallway here is the Swan meeting space that we saw from outside. Through these doors here is the main entrance to the lobby. Here's a quick look at some meeting rooms. Now let's head back to the west elevators through this hallway here. Let's head up to the 12th floor and check out the interior guest room hallways. And here are the west elevators. Chewbacca's displayed on this one. Now let's push the button to go up. Let's hit the button for the 12th floor. And we're on the 12th floor. And here's what the interior guest room hallways look like. The ambassador suites located over to the right hand side. And here's a look at the room door entry and room number plaque. Down below and off in the distance is the water taxi. We'll go see that in a moment. Here's the view from the 12th floor with Disney's Beach Club in the background. Down below and over to the left hand side is the lap pool, but we'll go see that later. Now it's time to head back down to the Swan Fountain on ground level. Follow me. Here's the Swan Fountain again, but let's head over here, down to the left hand side, down to the restaurants. Through these doors is a nice courtyard. Let's go see that. Let's go through these double doors here. Above are room balconies, and below, here's that Swan Fountain. There's even this nice shaded trellis. Let's go back inside, through those double doors there. There's even another courtyard just on the other side, through these windows here. Let's keep going through this hallway and up to this atrium. Chill is over to the left hand side, but if we go down this hallway, they'll take us down to some additional restaurants. Let's go see that. This hallway also takes us to the Lakeview Room, the fitness center, and restrooms. Let's head down the hallway. There's that courtyard that we just saw. And here are the additional restaurants, the Garden Grove and Kimonos. Kimonos, experience the art of sushi. Let's take a look at the menu items. Kimonos serve sushi like the tuna roll, the California roll, a bagel roll, a spicy rainbow roll, a dragon roll, and a bonsai roll. Kimonos is open daily from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Let's take a look at the interior dining room. The Lakeview Room, the pool areas, the Splash Bar and Grill, and the Fitness Center are located just outside these double doors here if we make a right. And here's the reception area for Garden Grove. There's even an on-stage kitchen. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. Garden Grove at the Walt Disney World Swan Hotel currently serves breakfast from 7 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. It's considered casual dining. And here's another look at the kitchen. Up ahead is the Garden Grove restaurant. Here's this large tree in this tall atrium. Up ahead is the lap pool through the windows. Let's take another quick look at the dining room before we go out the exit. Now let's reverse our direction and head back towards Chill. And here's Chill, frozen drinks. Let's take a look at the menu items. Chill serves some specialty cocktails, like a cold fashioned, a mango margarita, a chilling dreams, and a paloma. Over to the right hand side is Chill again. Up ahead is the lobby and convention center. And just over to the left hand side is Il Molino, New York. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. Il Molino offers pizza, like a margarita, a Rustica, a Bosco, and a Bianca. The dining room is open from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. Up ahead is the bar and lounge, and off in the distance is the dining room. Now let's go check out the water taxis, just through these double doors. And we're going to go through these double sets of double doors outside. Directly ahead behind those palm trees are the double doors that we just came through. And if we just look up in the sky, here's the Walt Disney World Swan. There's the room balconies. And if we look carefully just on the end, there's an oversized shell. And on the other side is the large swan again. 
If we head over to the right hand side and up and over that bridge, it'll take us to Disney's Yacht and Beach Club Resorts, Disney's Boardwalk, and the International Gateway at Epcot. Just around the corner from that bridge is this nice shaded courtyard where the Swan hosts special events. There's the Michael Graves Causeway with the Walt Disney World Dolphin in the background. Now let's head down to the Disney Water Taxi just down here on the right hand side. And here's the Michael Graves Causeway. Michael Graves designed the iconic Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Hotels. There's the water taxi now coming into dock. And there's the guests unloading from the Disney water taxi. Over on the left hand side is Epcot via Yacht Club, Beach Club, and Disney's Boardwalk. And on the opposite side, it goes to Disney's Hollywood Studios. There goes the water taxi. On the back side of the bus stop is the waterway that takes you over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. And if you head in the opposite direction, it takes you to the International Gateway at Epcot. Directly behind me is the water taxi. There's the lake terrace and the lap pool just up ahead. And over to the right hand side, that little blue object there, that's the playground. Let's go take a look at that. We're headed back down the Michael Graves Causeway now and we're gonna make a right just around the corner. There's that swan again. And just down below here, this circular structure is the Garden Grove Restaurant. If we continue looking over to our right hand side, there's the Lakeview Room and the Lap Pool, but we'll go check that out in a moment. Take a look at the long line of palm trees here at the Lake Terrace. And look at how calm the water is with the reflection of the Walt Disney World Dolphin. Across the lake is the water taxi. You could even rent a swan boat. How relaxing. Up ahead is a white sand beach near the playground. Here we are at the playground. Off in the distance is the new Swan Reserve Hotel, but it's still under construction at the moment. And here's another quick look at the playground for the Junior Explorers. If we follow this pathway here down the white sand beach, it'll take us to Disney's Fantasia Gardens Mini Golf. The pathway will also take us down to the Walt Disney World Dolphin Grotto Pool. But that's another video for a different day. Now let's head back down the pathway to check out the health club and the lap pool. There's the Walt Disney World Swan off in the distance. To access the lake view room, you can walk through the cabanas here, or you can follow the pathway just behind the bushes there and in front of the Garden Grove restaurant over to the lake view room, just over to the right hand side. We're here at the lake view room. Down this corridor here is the lake view event room. There's the Swan's Fitness Center. Through these doors is the health club. Let's go inside the health club and take a quick look. And here's the inside of the health club. They even have a training zone here. Would you look at all this fitness equipment? Don't forget to grab your towel for the pool. Here's the lap pool with the playground off in the distance. Look at how relaxing this is. Across the pool are the cabanas and beyond that there's the Walt Disney World Dolphin. There's even a spa for the grown-up explorers. Don't forget your shower after your refreshing swim. You could even play a game of pool, table tennis, chess, or cornhole, all with a lake view. It looks like there used to be hammocks here. We're at the Swan Terrace and just up ahead is the Splash Pool Bar and Grill. Let's take a look at the menu items. The Splash Pool Bar and Grill has specialty cocktails like a Dominican Sneak Up, a hibiscus cooler, and even a strawberry basil lemonade. Let's take another look at the poolside bar. Now let's head back to the main entrance of the lobby. We're gonna head back through these doors here. We're gonna go back to the lobby through this hallway here and continue straight ahead. And we're gonna go through the revolving door again, back outside and check out the portico one last time. And we're gonna head off in this direction here. We're back. There's a time shift in the space-time continuum.
here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of the Walt Disney World Swan just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.